if you notice a huge discrepancy in your calories and your macronutrients, it's one of three things. Either A, you've plugged in something that is completely erroneous. You found a donut that's 300 calories with no carbs, no protein, and no fat. If you do that, I need you to immediately text me and I'll meet you there and we'll eat all those free carb donuts, but the truth is, it's wrong. Secondly, it could be that there's rounding going on on food labels. The USDA allows for a certain rounding on every single food label from everything you eat over the course of the day. So imagine, sure, one food isn't that big of a deal, but over the course of the day, you can eat dozens of different foods. All of those roundings could lead to a discrepancy by the end of the day. And lastly, it could be that you had alcohol. If you had a glass of wine, it's only gonna be registering the calories with no macronutrients. So here's what I always want you to remember. If you hit your macronutrients, for every gram of protein, there's four calories. For every gram of carbohydrates, there's four calories. For every gram of fat, there's nine. That's just science. That never changes. So as long as you're hitting your macros, your calories are going to be in check. It doesn't necessarily work backwards because you can easily see that you can eat 2,000 calories only from protein or only from carbs or mostly from carbs and fat, but not hit your macros. I want you to always chase your macros. And if you see a big discrepancy by the end, over 100 calories, I want you to go back through your day and look through and check what I just told you. Did you plug in something that was wrong? Is it just simply rounding, which is not a big deal? Or did you have some alcohol and forget to track it the way we told you to? Hopefully that helps.